I'm actually not against net neutrality, you see. And I resist the idea of uh, making the internet essentially another kind of cable service where there's a high cost of entry for uh, people who want real service. I get it. This is the character. No, I it's... This is what I've been missing. I've come at him with a straight arrow. What you're doing right now is actually great uh, because you're sort of taking the opposite point of view. Okay. So if you want to keep up this idea that you're for... Please don't wink at me. Whatever it is. No I signs. Just, this is John, a calm down. Listen to me, John. This is real. I'm in favor of net neutrality. I'm touching you on your shoulder and your knee to convey the sincerity with which I say this. I'm going to stop touching you now, okay? John, you can't mean that. Listen, I, I... I mean it. You have no idea what I've been through. You have no idea who I've talked to. This is, this is about real people. Please don't make me touch you again, John. <laughs> this is very difficult for me because it's hard for me to believe what you're saying now as opposed to how I first knew you. I mean, I can see making an argument for remunerating the companies for creating infrastructure. I'm happy to pay for that. I'm not going to go out there laying cable, even though I'm fantastic at it. They're making an investment and they deserve a return on their investment by charging for that service. Great. But I already pay something of a premium to have access to broadband already. Yeah. I mean, it's not inexpensive and it's certainly not free. Why shouldn't I have everything I want? Am I not paying enough? I'm not going to call you again. Well, if that's what you have to do, I guess I can accept that.